Hi, welcome to The Roost. Today we're going to make a fun pocket slider card. With the little crabby friend who slides across the sand. So let's just flip the camera and start crafting. So first off, let's start by making our base um, that's gonna hold the little pull-up pocket. So you need to start with a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half. So a, a standard card base, but instead of scoring it um, the way you normally would, you're going to score it at four inches. And I've been having trouble here with my cutting blade lately, so let's push that out of the way. I've, I've ruined several cards lately with that by cutting instead of scoring. And then we're going to go over to the eight inch to make our little gluing tab on the edge. So that's all there is to this base. Then before we start doing um, anything more, we need to make our, um, our paper that's gonna go on the front. Now I say make because I would normally use some designer series paper and let me just pull in a similar card that I made. So this is the By the Bay Designer Series paper, and it works perfect for this card. But I happen to use up all of my paper, and I still wanted to make this card to show you how I made it. So I am going to show you a sneaky way to create some um, designer paper using some uh, water painters and some inks. So let me just set this off to the side while I show you how to do this. Now, I'm starting with a piece of the shimmery white. Um, and I'm hoping you can see that it's shimmery. I'm not seeing it on my camera, but it's the shimmery white paper. And it's a little bit, here I'm, I'm gonna pull in a piece of, um, of our basic white. You can see it's a little bit of an off white, but it, it works better than the basic white paper for watercoloring. It takes the water a little bit better. So I'm gonna pull in, this is my paint palette because I'm using the, um, the spots. I can't uh, squeeze the tops together. So I'm just going to start with, um, and I couldn't find my basic, or I'm sorry, my balmy blue, which is the color that I wanted to use on the bottom. I'm thinking it's in Minnesota and I'm in Florida. So I don't know if any of you know how that is. There's so many things I've found that um, are not with me. So I'm gonna start with my, like the big wash brush and get some water out here. Now you can also use regular paint brushes, you know, and, and a, a glass of water. That works just fine too. So I'm just gonna pull some some of this across. And then next I am going to use some of the Coastal Cabana. It's a nice bright blue. And I'm trying to mimic the colors on the, um, the designer series paper because that artist who made the paper knew what she was doing and I don't. So I'm just gonna try to copy her. Some more water and we're just gonna do another swish of the um, Coastal Cabana across here. And you always wanna have a paper towel handy um, just to kind of wipe your brush. Next, we're gonna go with some pool party for the sky. I'm gonna add a little bit more here so I have plenty of ink. Now you can also use your, um, your refills and put dots um, of the refills on a block. That works as well. I'm not sure that I have my refills with me though either. And then we're just gonna add this wash and you don't want it to be um, like even all over. You want kind of variations. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the, um, this is soft suede and I think I might have enough on here. I think my hard water has gotten to my, um, my water painters. 
Oh wait, you know what? I don't want to use this big brush for that though. Let me change my mind. I'm going to use the, the more fine point one. Okay, so now I'm going to add this in. This is going to kind of be our, our uh, divider, right, between the, the beach and the water in the sky. I'm not sure. But we got a little brown in there because the artist did that on the paper, so I am following her lead. And then she had a little tiny bit of, I think, Knight of Navy in here too. So I am going to pull in a little bit of that. I'm running out of room on my palette. Okay, I want more water because I don't want it super dark. Okay, and she just had a little bit in here. I'm a great copycat. That's what I do best. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And now you should let this dry, or you can take a heat tool and, and uh, dry it. So let me pull in the, um, the, the original piece of designer series paper that I'm copying from. So I think, you know, it's pretty close. Beggars can't be choosers, right? So let's pull back in our base. And... Give these a score. And I probably have paint on my fingers because I see I'm leaving marks. Okay. Now this is going to get adhered onto here before we do any um, making our slit. Because we want the slit to be across this piece as well. And I'm going to pretend that that's dry. So let's go ahead and add our adhesive. And we'll just go ahead and center it on here. And I don't remember, did I tell you the size of this piece? Probably not, right? So this piece of the shimmery white paper is five and a quarter by three and three-fourths, which is a little bit different because the card is a little bit narrower. Okay, so once we have that on there, we're going to put our, our slit across here for our little crab to, to crawl across the sand. So we're going to pull our, our trimmer back in, and this time we're going to use the cutting edge. So depending on your paper is going to depend upon where you put your, your slit. Okay, so somewhere between an inch and two inches, right? Depending on where you're, I, I try to put it where the sand is on my cut, and it looks like I have this one at probably about two and two and three-fourths, maybe. I think my last one was at two and three-eighths, but you're going to put yours wherever you end up with your sand strip, and then we're going to Cut this from one inch to four and a half. So that's going to give our crab room to run. Okay, so this is the bottom of our card. Now we're going to want to do our stamping next, and I'm just going to show you the stamp sets that I'm using. And I thought these, these work so well together. Um, the Seaside Bay is a beautiful set that's in the mini catalog right now. And it's kind of, there's sympathy and a thank you, which are great if you want a sympathy or a thank you, but I wanted to do this as a, as a more cheerful, well not the thank yous aren't cheerful, but birthday card. So I pulled in the Friends Are Like Seashell set, which is a great combo to the Seaside Bay. And I'm using the greetings out of here. So we're going to put our Friends are like seashells on here, and I'm doing it with Knight of Navy, if I can find it. Here we go. Ink. Let's 
So hopefully my damp paper doesn't um, make my words run. Okay, so we've got that. And then I also want to stamp some of the um, seashells on here because, you know, we have the friends are like seashells. And this is from the Seaside Bay. And I wanted to do those. Well, actually, we can do the either soft suede or crumb cake. Um, I think either one would be fine. And I happen to have the soft suede right here. I think I used crumb cake the last time. This looks a little dark. So we'll go ahead and stamp these on here. And then I kind of wanted just a little bit more of the sand in here. So I'm going to um, pull in. There's, a, there's one that has the shells on it and one that's just sand. But I don't want it to get on my edge of my card or my, oh, my base, right? So I'm just going to pull in a piece of scrap paper and cheat a little bit, right? Maybe I'll even stamp it off so this is a little bit lighter and put in a little bit more sand. Let's go ahead and add some more. Because I kind of like that where there's a little bit more sand down here. Okay, so you can put as much sand as you want or as little. Or none. So then we need to stamp our slider part that's going to pull out as long as we're stamping. Let's go ahead and stamp. And this is a piece of, let me make sure I have my basic white. I think I grabbed the wrong. Right, let's see if I put this here. Nope, this is, this is my, now I've lost my basic white piece. Okay, here we go. See how easy it is to get confused. So this is just a piece of basic white that is, let me find my measurements and I'm gonna read them to you so I don't screw up. This is three and three fourths by five. So it's a little bit shorter, right, than, than your one on the front. And this is basic white. Now, it's only gonna come out just a little ways. Let me pull in my other card here and I'll show you. So. It stops about there, so you want to stamp your greetings in this, um, what is it, two and a half inches or whatever on the edge. So we're going to go ahead and do our happy birthday, and we're going to use the navy for this as well. I like Knight of Navy for greetings. It's kind of like your tuxedo black. It's nice and dark, so they really show up. right here and I love that font on this one as well and then you are unique and completely amazing and as I'm making this I'm thinking of my friend Lori who has been my friend since I was like I don't know four years old we grew up in the neighborhood and we live far far apart but I always still she's still my friend and if we randomly get together it's like we've we've been together the whole time it's so awesome to have friends like that so then we're going to put that little little um what do you call these conch shells let's do him in here and let's do him with the soft suede just to give a little bit of variation in color and he tucks right into this greeting so cool and then you're going to write your your greet in there. Oh, and I'm almost forgetting our crab. Okay, so that's going to go in there. Let's just set that off to the side. Now we're going to have this cute little crab scuttling across the sand. And I recommend that you have some fun with him, experimenting with different colors that you like. So I'm going to do my guy in real red and Pacific Point. But I, like I said, play with this. I had a lot of fun deciding which colors to use, and, and I found that there were several that I liked. 
so I'm going to use sponge daubers and if you want a nice dark red make sure you get lots of ink on and then I'm doing the tips in the Pacific point the tips of his claws and each one that you do is going to look different right because because it's pretty unique you get a little bit of purple in there maybe you want less blue play with it that's the fun of stamping so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this and then immediately after stamping I'm going to take my blender pen and go ahead and blend out these colors so I'm coloring him in with my blender pen So the blender pan picks up the ink that's that's on the um, on the image and pulls it around to color the spots that aren't colored. Right, just makes it look a little bit different. And then once I'm done with that, this is one glamorous crab. Right, I'm gonna pull in Wink Estella because. You have to have Wink Estella. Okay. And this is really hard to see. It's pretty subtle, and the camera doesn't always pick it up. But the Wink Estella just adds that little bit of um, sparkle to it. Now you could just use the Wink Estella to blend the colors as well, um, but I like using the blending brushes sometimes, or the blender pens, I'm sorry. Now you could also do him on the, um, the sparkle paper and that would give you the same shimmery kind of effect. Now I'm going to close these up. One of my one of my rules, and I was just breaking it, is always always close your ink pads so you don't flop the card over into it. Now let me go and die cut this, and I did want to. Both of the stamp sets that I'm using have some wonderful dies that go with them, and I just wanted to kind of show you. Mine are a mess because I don't have my magnet sheets down here, and I haven't added it. But there's there's even like a a sand edge, right? You can make that. We could have cut that, but it cuts out a lot of the um, the stamps. And then there's also this fun um, fold over oyster. So I just wanted to share that with you. I will be back in a minute. Okay, so here is our little crabby. And I think we're about ready to start assembling all these pieces. Oh, one more thing we need to do. Um, I knew I had my ruler here somewhere. Okay, I have a hard time getting things centered, so I'm just going to take my ruler. We're going to put a little um, notch in here. Whoops, I need inches. So that you can pull the, um, the greeting out of the pocket. And I'm just going to mark it at two. And one of the things I did not bring along was my circle punches. So uh, I did find that this heart has a pretty nice circle on the on the loop of the heart and however deep you want it we're going to make our little our little divot there and next we're going to make our our little slider piece and about a half inch by three inches and it looks like I need to cut this one it looks a little bit long and it's just a scrap then we're going to put, if I can find them, we're going to put a piece of tear and tape on one end. Okay, that's going to be our slider is going to go on there, and then we're going to flip it over 
and put a dimensional for our little crab guy. Okay, so we'll put our dimensional on the other end. And hopefully I have it in the right spot. It could have been in a little bit more. And then we also need to put a tear and tape strip on here. This is going to seal up our pocket, right? So put that there. When you put this all together, you're going to slip your, your little scrap piece in here, making sure that your crab is not um, hanging over the edge. So he'll go like that. This this pull out your you know your pull out piece is going to go in here, attached to this piece, and then when you put this on, you have to make sure that you don't get the adhesive on your pull out piece, or it won't slide. So let's go ahead and add our crab, making sure that um, your your scrap piece there, your slider is covered. So you don't want anybody to see the magic, right? And then we're going to take this off. This is going to be all the way up to the top, to the edge of your card. You don't want it sticking out, but you want it at the top. And this little guy is going to be all the way down to the bottom. We'll go ahead and close that on there. And now we're going to peel off this, whoops, peel off this piece. And then when we put this in here, we're going to make sure that this is down. Whoops, sorry for the head. We're going to make sure that this is down here. Flop that over it and then push this down. So now if we did everything right. We should be able to pull this out and our little crab will walk across the card. So I hope you enjoyed this um, slider pocket card. And if you would like to purchase the supplies to make this card, I would be honored if you would um, use my store and I have the link below. And I'll also include the um, products that I use to make this um, fake designer series paper because I ran out. Thanks for watching. I'd love to have you join me at the roost again. Hope you have a great day.